hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a free looks one palette and the palette I am using is Whale Song Whale Song Whale Song from Menagerie Cosmetics and I put up a little voting on my community tab so if you want to be a part of deciding which palette I'm going to use go and check out my community tab and you can vote and for this free looks one palette I only took green and blue palettes and I'm thinking about doing like different themes on my free looks one palette the palettes you can choose from if you think that is a good idea tell me if you think it's a bit bad idea tell me that as well but I am doing a free looks one palette with the whale song palette from Menardi Cosmetics I have done a first impression and palette thing with this one as it looks like this and I have almost planned like all my free looks with this, so yes, I think we just get started and I'm going to leave timestamps down in the description if you only want to see one of the looks or the little review, so it's coming a little review in the end of this free looks on palette, but I think we just get started with this first look. So I will start off with one color in my crease and I will take Reef, this green one, and this will be a green look. I think I had too much on my brush, but we just go with the flow. And I actually think that this is one... I actually think this is my favorite from Menardi Cosmetics. This whale song, but I haven't got the Killer Pearl palette yet. It's in Sweden at least, and it, uh, it is at Jessica's soon because we order together. And I think that may be. My favorite, I don't know, but we will see. So, something like this. This is pretty dark, but it's like I like this green. Okay, and then I actually think I will take Splash this shimmer one and put it on my outer half of my lid. I'm thinking about doing like an old shimmer look with this. But I'm not sure yet. And this is also pretty dark. I was thinking about taking a shade to deepen down my outer corner. But I actually don't know if I need to do that. Maybe this is like enough. And I think that this sticks to the eye so, so good. And it is one of these shimmer shades that is like, you can smudge it a little bit. So I like that. I like when you can like work the shimmers into the crease and it doesn't look weird. This is that, and then I will go in with Fluke, this one, and put it in my inner corner. <laughs> this is going so fast. I like when it goes fast to do my eyeshadow. And okay, this maybe I should have either sprayed or like taken some glitter glue. And cut my crease with it. So I will actually cut my crease for Fluke because I want it to be really really intense. So I will take NYX glitter glue to cut my crease. Okay and now we will see if this turns out as I want it to. Yes. Thus, this was what I was going for. But I think I will go in with Splash, the darker one. Just a little tiny on my brush and just try to make the edge a little bit better. 
And oh yes, this I really like. And I don't think a shadow is bad just because you need to use a glitter glue. It worked without the glitter glue, but it's more intense with the glitter glue. And I wanted it. I wanted it. I wanted it. I want. I wanted it to be intense. So. Okay, so what do you think? Do you like this as much as I do? Because I... I really dig this. So I will take away my fallouts, fix my base and my brows and then I will come back and we'll do the under eyes together and finish up this look. Okay, so I am back and for my under eyes I am going to take this bubble net and put underneath but I also want to go in with fluke in my inner corner just because amazing shade so we take a bubble net and I'm still trying to figure out how to best capture my under eye movements <laughs> for you And if you're wondering about my base and maybe my under eyes, if you feel that I look a little bit dark under here. I've talked about this before. I have something underneath this eye that is so dry and I don't know what it is. Um, I googled a little bit and I am now trying to stay away from products under my eyes. I have used my mineral foundation and now concealer so if I look like a little bit tired under the eyes that's why because I don't want to I want to get rid of this I don't want to be red underneath my eyes anymore so I am staying away from eye cream and liquid products underneath my eyes right now at least this one so like that and then we'll go in with fluke and I will spray it so I take some of this brush pretty much on this brush and then I almost dropped the palette put my nail in the palette it's going great and let me see some magic fluke That this works. Maybe now I look a little bit crazy. <laughs> Maybe I look a little bit cray cray. So I will take something in my waterline, put on mascara, and put on a lipstick. And I'm guessing it's going to be a red lipstick. So I will fix that and then I will come back and I will be finished with the first look. So this is the finished look. For my waterline I took Teaspoon from Colourpop and on my lips I took Kitten Heels from NYX. It's a liquid suede and yeah, I like this look. I love to pair green with red as you may know. So this is my first look with the Whale Song palette and I have used four colours. I used Fluke, Reef, Bubble Net and Splash. So yeah, I think we just hop into the next look. So it is time for look number two with the Whale Song palette and today we are going blue. I hope and I haven't taken out the brushes I need. So okay, today we are doing a blue look and I will start with dive this one and take it in my crease and maybe only my crease and I am a little bit afraid that this is going to be like too dark in my crease and this brush is huge okay maybe it's too big no good I take 
hate this brush instead. I don't want it to be that blue. <laughs> okay. I don't want it to be that all over maybe is the correct term. And I have to like rise a little bit. I have nothing against this shade, but it's maybe not a super good crease shade. Okay, so I am happy like that, and then I'm going in with... Breaching this dark blue and taking it on my outer corner out of, of my eye and I'm trying to use all the shades in this palette for this free looks one palette because it is only 12 shades and I only have to use four in each look and that is not a struggle so that is why I wanted to do a whole a whole <laughs> one look with only blues and one look with only greens and then the last look is going to be what's left and I'll still like a little disclaimer if you haven't watched the first look I think I said it if something looks strange out here on my eye it's because it's super dry so it's nothing with the shadows it is my eye that is acting up a little bit don't know what's happened but it's just the way it is right now. I think I want to go in with this light one. Um, Citation? Have no idea. Okay, we try this. This wasn't my plan from the beginning but you always try something else. This maybe works. Okay, this is a really good light blue because this likes it goes over so good. So maybe this was a better idea. Because I first planned to take the one that I have in my crease. On here but I think this was better actually okay so like this but I think I want to do one last thing and this one I am not too sure about but I'm going to take some glitter glue and a eyebrow brush now you may be wondering what the hell is she going to do and I can say that I don't really know but I want to try this so I will go in and put like a liner here so concentration 100% kind of like a cut crease and then I want to go in with wheel song. This one I don't want to close my eye and put it where I put the clear glue. So we'll see how this will look. Maybe it is too similar to the other shades that I'm a little bit worried about. I don't know, can you even see this? Can I even see this? I don't know what I think, but I it's not like super bad. But maybe I should have taken like pearl or something just to have something a little bit brighter, but I think I will go with this. Something is happening at least, so yeah, I will do it on the other eye, or I will try. Okay, so I actually think I like this. 
Maybe it isn't that visible that I wanted it to be, but I'm okay with it, so I really hope that you can see it. So I will fix my base and my brows, and then I will come back. So I am back, and I'm doing a simple under eye, just because I can. So I will take dive and breaching, so I will take dive first of all, all underneath my eye, and then I will use breaching just on the outer corner too putting them together and if you're wondering about my base makeup I don't know if you do but I am using a mineral foundation and no concealer right now because of my dry patch with my eye I don't want to use uh, product and only like powders and stuff so if my base doesn't look flawless it doesn't do here I don't know what happened so like that and then I'm going in with breaching just an outer corner and then and then I think I want to go in with whale song the one I have up here like to wrap the eye a little bit and then I need some setting spray I think so like that so time for mascara and something in my waterline so this is the finished look for my waterline I used prance from Colourpop and on my lips I used aftershock that is a lipstick from Colourpop as well you light and I like never know when I'm doing a blue eye what I'm going to do for lips so I always go with the pink so this is my second look with the whale song palette I don't know what I think I like the first look more than this look we will see how I feel about a look after this but this is not my favorite look I can say that at least but it is a blue look, the shadows works good, and this, this one is really good. So for this look I've used Dive, Whale Song, Breaching, and say I don't know, Cetacean? And yeah, they all work really good. This Breaching is a really really nice dark dark blue like it so much and this whale song it's such a nice shimmer so this was the second look and the blue look and if you want to see the last look just keep on watching so it is time for look number three and if you have seen the other two looks you maybe know which colors I have left I think I know what I will do and it will not be a halo eye in this free looks one palette it feels like I always do that but in this no so I'm going to start with plankton this one and put it in my crease and like really 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 smoke it out and something unbelievable has happened I have washed all my brushes yesterday so that feels so so good. Okay, maybe not all my brushes, but the brushes I use. And this one is... I love these kinds of colors. And I really like... I just love it. This is one of my favorite colors in this palette. I'm gonna go in with my other favorite in this, and that is Kelp this one and I will put this all over my lid and this one is such a nice shade but I also want to go in with something a little bit darker just to deepen down the outer corner and I going to take barnacle this one and this is 
kind of blue but it is the only like darker color darker color I haven't used so yeah I was going to use all the shades in this palette and that is going to happen because now it's happening and this works so good actually to put over kelp so that makes me happy I was a little bit afraid when I swatched this I was like this is never going to work but it is working but I took it a little bit too far in so I will go over with kelp again and if you haven't watched the other two looks I have some dry patches on this eye so if the shades look a little bit patchy or uneven it is because of that so if this eye looks good the shadows are good just a little disclaimer if you haven't seen the first two looks and if you have seen the first two looks I'm saying it again just so you know okay so I think I will have it like this my lids at least for now so I will go and take away my fallouts fixing my base and my brows okay so for the under eyes I will start with plankton the one that I have in my crease So, and then I will do the obvious thing, I will go in with pearl in my inner corner and also down here. And yes, I love to do this and I really like this pearl shade. And I will spray this. And for some reason I always put it too far down in my inner corner. So I think that is all for the eye look. Maybe just going to... So that's all. Now it's time for mascara and a lippy. So this is my finished look. For my waterline I used Sulu. Yes, <laughs> from Colourpop. And on my lips I have used some thing from Menage Cosmetics. I don't know the name because the sticker has fallen off but I will write it down in the description which shade this is. And this is the third and finished, the third look for this Free Looks 1 palette and I like this look but I actually think that look number one was my favorite. Please tell me with which one was your favorite and I don't know why I can't speak. In this look I have used pearl, kelp, plankton and barnacle. Yeah, all the colors work so good. So this is the third look and now I will hop into the review part. Okay, so what do I think about the Whale Song palette from Nardi Cosmetics? I think this is my favorite palette so far from Nardi. The colors are so good, I really like them. There is some different formulas on the different shimmers. It is four shimmers in this one. It is these two that are pretty similar and then these two that are pretty similar. For Pearl and Fluke, they are... If you have tested Menardi Cosmetics, maybe you know that some of the shimmers are like a little bit moussey and you can like, like this pearl, I can move it around with my finger. It is like Colourpop's Super Shock, at least highlighters, but I think all their Super Shock are like that. You can like move it around. So that I think is good because they are pretty easy to get like to stick on your eyes and they are if it comes cracked it is easy to press them down the splash and whale song are more like normal 
shimmer shades. They are not like moussey, but they are really good and I really love this whale song. It doesn't give it justice. It is really really nice. It is nicer like on the eyes and then in the palette. And Splash is also amazing. And the one thing I love about Splash and Whale Song it's they are you can blend them out. So if you want to do all shimmer look you can use these two and like blend them out in your crease and I love that about shimmers. If we go into the matte, all the mattes are really, really good. And it's like just <laughs> what you like for color. This breaching is really good for being a dark blue. And all the other ones, they're so good. And some of my favorite shades is Kelp and Plankton. They are like this grungy, especially Plankton. And it's a really, really cool color. And I think this is a good mixture between green and blue. It's not too green, it's not too blue. It's a good, a good palette. And you can do a completely blue look if you want to. You can do a completely green look if you want to. You can mix them if you want to. And that I really like. I actually don't think I have anything to complain about about this palette. I really like it and I like the front of it, I like the size of it and all these shadows they are mag magnetic so you can take them out. You can take them out if you want to. That I really like. So yeah I can really recommend this palette. If you like these kinds of colors it is a good palette. I think you would be happy with this if you like the colors. So yeah, that was my free looks one palette with the Whale Song palette. And if you want to be a part of choosing my next free looks one palette, I will leave in my community tab where you can vote. And I actually think that I'm going to continue with doing like these theme things. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and please tell me what which was your favorite. I am liking number one most, then this, and then last number two. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!